several ships, aircraft, and personnel from Australia, India, Japan, and the United States began Exercise Malabar 2020 in the Bay of Bengal on November 3rd. The 24th edition of the Malabar Naval Exercise included a variety of high-end tactical training including surface, anti-submarine and anti-air warfare operations, cross-deck flying, seamship evolutions and weapon firing exercises. Taking part in the exercise were the Vikra Maditya Carrier Battle Group of the Indian Navy and Nimitz Carrier Strike Group of the US Navy. Malabar this year highlighted enhanced convergence of views amongst the four countries' maritime issues and showcased their commitment to an open, inclusive, Indo-Pacific and rules-based international order. South Korea launched its second KSS-3 large conventional submarine. ROKS Anmu was built by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering for the Republic of Korea Navy. Meanwhile, the first submarine of the class continues sea trials. ROKS Anmu is expected to be commissioned in 2022. The KSS-3 submarine has a length of 83.5 meters, a width of 9.6 meters, and a draft of 7.7 .7 meters. Its maximum submerged speed is 20 knots, and the cruising range at economic speed is 10,000 nautical miles. The crew consists of 50 sailors. These submarines are fitted with eight torpedo tubes, as well as 6X vertical launch systems, which can deploy land attack cruise missiles. INS Majin was officially handed over by ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems to the Israeli Navy. German shipbuilder TKMS signed a contract in 2015 to build four next-generation Sa'ar 6-class corvettes for the Israeli Navy. The first ship is supposed to arrive in Israel in December. INS Majin will help defend Israel's important strategic assets. In terms of weapon systems, the Sa'ar 6 will be heavily armed given their small size and displacement. The 1,900 tons, 90 meter long ship will be fitted with 32 Barak 8 surface air missiles, 40 naval iron dome missiles, and 16 anti ship missiles. Indian shipbuilder Mazagon Dock Limited launched Vajir, the fifth Scorpion class submarine for the Indian Navy. The launch event took place at the shipyard in Mumbai. Vajir is named after the sandfish, a deadly deep sea predator of the Indian Ocean. Six Scorpion class submarines have been ordered by India in 2005 as part of the Project 75 program. They are constructed locally by MDL with assistance of Naval Group, designer of these submarines. Two submarines, Kalvari and Kandiri, have already been commissioned into the Indian Navy. The third and fourth submarine of the class, Karani and Vila, are conducting sea trials. A CMV-22B carrier onboard delivery variant of the Osprey tilt rotor aircraft landed aboard USS Carl Vinson while operating in the Pacific Ocean. This evolution marked the first time the US Navy's new COD platform has ever landed on a carrier. The CMV-22B is designed to carry up to 6,000 pounds of cargo and or personnel and operate up to a range of 1,150 nautical miles.
One of the reasons the U.S. Navy selected the V-22 airframe to serve in the COD role is because of its ability to carry the Pratt and Whitney F-135 engine power module used by the F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. France and the United Kingdom signed a joint contract for TALIS to start the production phase of MMCM to deliver eight unmanned mine hunting systems, four for France and four for the United Kingdom. The SLAM-F MMCM mine warfare system will allow France and British sailors to operate remotely and stay out of the minefield through the use of unmanned systems. When operational, the new system will give the French and Royal Navies increased capability to remotely detect and neutralize sea mines. It is designed to potentially replace conventional crew mine hunting vessels such as the Royal Navy's Hunt and Sandown class ships with autonomous systems.